Game Maker automatically adds that. So, I'm just going to replace this. And there you go. So now, if you'll notice, what you end up with is a strip that's completely horizontal. So it looks like, if I can come in here and show you guys, which I didn't plan on doing, so yeah. If I open this up, the strip is horizontal, and it's every frame in order from left to right. But of course, like I said, it's got to be vertical. So what you do is come into Paint here. This is just Microsoft Paint that's free with every version of Windows. You go open and open up the strip that you just created. So light ring PNGs, light ring strip. And then you just rotate 90 degrees to the right. And that'll undo. You know, that'll make it vertical, but it'll also undo the rotation you added in Game Maker to reproduce the original animation in the correct orientation. <coughs> so now what you want to do, you have to make sure to save as a BMP file. And over here, make sure it's 24-bit, which should be the default. If it's not, make sure it's 24-bit, because it has to be. And put it in its own folder. So I just made a BMP folder, and make sure to call it activity.bmp. It has to have that name or boot updater will not recognize it. So I'm just going to overwrite the one I have. Oh, uh, mine's set to read only uh, for some reason. Let me just fix that. Okay. I'm probably going to edit this out. Ah, oh, there's. Okay, not read only. Okay, so I'm just gonna overwrite the one I have, BMP activity .bmp, and it'll say all transparency will be lost. That's fine because that's why you put the black background in the first place, so you wouldn't have to worry about transparency. And press OK, and now you're done. Now all you have to do is apply your boot animation. And the way you do that is you simply uh, load up your oops wrong place. You simply load up your Win7 boot updater. I have 64-bit Windows, so I'm going to use boot updater 64. If you have 32, you'll use boot updater 32. Open up boot updater, and then as soon as this finishes opening. Okay. Um, the boot res DLL should already be uh, automatically detected. If it's not, click select boot res DLL and go to this file. C Windows System32 boot res DLL. Um, that's only if it's not already automatically detected. That's the only time you have to do that. But if you can't find that file, then you have other problems with your version of Windows that I can't help you with. Um, make sure text is not checked because you don't need to change the text. Click select animation and choose the folder that you save that activity.bmp into. Don't go into the folder, just choose the folder and click select folder. And it should automatically detect activity.bmp and now it knows which animation you want if this is the first time you're doing this, you should check Enable Test Signing and make sure it's set for Current. You know, there's other things you can set. Don't change that. Make sure it's set to Current. Um, if, this is, if you've already done this before, you don't need to enable Test Signing again. If you do, it won't hurt anything, but it's just unnecessary. If it's the first time, though, you have to enable it. Otherwise, Windows will notice that the file has changed and will not display any animation at all. I've done that before. This causes Windows to overlook the fact that it's changed. So now you hit go, let it do its thing, and then it'll say when the progress bar is done, successfully updated animation, successfully enabled test signing. And now you're done. 
So now when you restart your computer, you should get the Windows logo or the Windows animation that you set instead of the default one. Now, what's going to happen is if you run this, you're going to... Wow. Um, you're going to see some symbol, uh, symbol, some text in the corner saying that you're now running in test mode. That was the test signing thing. So now this is kind of a catch-22. If you run it in test mode, you get the text. If you don't run it in test mode, you can't use the logo. Luckily, there is a remove watermarks, which I apparently don't have anymore. Um, but if you Google uh, something like remove Windows 7 test mode text, there you'll, you'll see remove Windows 7 watermark, right? And see, that is the text you'll get, something like that. You want to remove that, just download the remove 7 watermark, or actually, if you really want to be completely, uh, completely uh, thorough and make sure all watermarks are gone, download remove watermark universal desktop watermark remover. I'll also put this link in the description. Uh, and what happens is, let me just download this again real quick, because I've apparently deleted it at some point. So download the newest version. Okay. Extract it. And then you run the correct version. X86 is for 32 bit systems. X64 is 64 bit. So I'll run that. And you let it go. And it's gonna ask you, do you really want to apply this patch? That depends. Do you want to get rid of the text? I do, so I'm going to say yes. And then it'll do everything. At the end, it'll say rebuilding MUI cache. And like it says, this will take a few minutes, and they're not kidding. It does take several minutes, but don't think it's finished yet, because if you close it early, it's going to screw. It's not going to screw up your computer, but it may not remove the text correctly. So you just uh, let it go. And after several minutes, it'll pop up. I'll probably edit this out to shorten it up a little, a little bit. It's not kidding when it says a few minutes. Okay, there you go. Uh, so yeah, after several long minutes, it finally finishes and it'll say, after reboot, if the watermark still exists, blah, 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 you can read this yourself. Basically, next time you log off and log back in or restart your computer, the text will be gone and you will still have your boot animation. So, Okay, so that's my tutorial. And um, if you want to see an example of someone who has already done this rather than me adding to this already long video on YouTube there is a video of um, somebody who has actually used my uh, light ring animation that you just saw that you just saw me create because um, I posted this up on DeviantArt and I uh, posted it or I, I sent it to a creator of an 
earlier video who had made his own animation and he posted it up and so 3ricky113 uh, has used that same logo I'll skip ahead and you'll see that's what it looks like um, yeah so he used my logo I'm really happy that people like it but uh so you can do it too now that you know how and you can make your own all right so i guess that's it signing off